long time no see uh, in today's video I'm just gonna do a uh, quick video on how to uh, configure a custom map on boot mod and uh, just show you guys how this works real quick in your OBD to Ethernet cable all right and then uh, for a Mac obviously you need the adapter you get that at any Mac store all right uh, then you got to launch the uh, boot mod uh, OBD agent. If you don't know where to find that, just go to uh, bootmod.net and it'll give you directions on what to do from there. Alright, uh, then you will uh, allow that. That just basically, I think it makes it auto update if it needs to. Um, so, connections up with my vehicle. Uh, server connection is up. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to go on your web browser and go to, like I said, uh, uh, bootmod.net. All right, says, uh, okay, there we go. Now we're connected. And it'll say OBD agent at the bottom left corner. It said it's up to date, which is good. It means I don't have to download anything. All right, so now that we're in, we can go ahead and do a bunch of different things, okay? So if you need to read some codes because you got a check engine light, you can go ahead and do it there. Uh, you can uh, completely reset uh, everything that your cars learned as far as, uh, like, these cars learn... Um, uh, how aggressive you like the throttle like all, all that kind of different stuff as far as dealing with uh, it shifting when it wants to shift and all that it learns to adapt to you uh, let's see valve uh, exhaust valve actuation it's pretty self-explanatory as far as having it open or not active sound a lot of people like to um, disable that I've already done that all right so let's just get back to the point of the video okay so you go to OTS maps you go ahead and uh, grab one of these maps um, you can, obviously when you buy the tune you get one for free uh, and then you got a d couple different ones here for free already uh, and then what you can do is go to my maps after you've already got it all right so I got stage one 91 octane stage two 91 octane all right so like you could easily just hit flash button and then fucking go from there but we want to configure some things so we'll go in here I've already configured it to the way I want I have the duration all the way down. I don't really like the burbles going that long, so I have it to like half, uh, one second, I think. But you can go up to duration five seconds. So if you want five seconds of burble of fucking AK fire, you could go five seconds and put the aggression all the way up to seven. Um, but we're not going to do that. That's not us. All right, so minimum speed, I put it down to zero, so that way in case uh, I'm in a parking lot and some dudes want to hear... The uh, the pops and bangs. I can go ahead and give it to him. Max speed. Have set to 100. Um, so th that'll be at the speed, obviously, at, at which um, the range at which you'll get those pops and bangs. Uh, and then you also have your minimum and max RPMs. So I got ma uh, minimum 1200, and then max all the way up to uh, I think it's 70 or uh, 7000. 7,000, 7,050 I had it at. All right, so you go down here, and this is important. You want to, um, if you want the cold start to stay on, which I do, uh, you put it at OEM, and then you can do the cold start RPM custom, and I have mine set to 1,400. Get that bitch real loud, wake up all the neighbors, you know. Uh, then see, I have no idea what this stuff is, so I don't touch it. Exhaust flap, I always have it in open. Uh, speed limiter I have that off and then this is important right here if you forget this one every time you uh, uh, flash your car you know after 70 or so miles you're gonna get that check engine light because your catalytic converters it's reading that they're supposed to be in there so you tr go ahead and turn those off then you go ahead and hit save changes all right you hit save changes confirm these kick group yeah configurations all right, map successfully saved. Go back to map details. All right, so it says this shit all the time, but for whatever reason, I've noticed you just go back to maps and then you click back and it's ready to go. All right, and then all you do is hit the flash button. That's it. So I already have this configuration flashed on my car, so I'm not going to go ahead and hit it. But if it's like um, your first time doing it, it may take like five minutes 
five to ten minutes. But uh, after that, uh, if you make it, if you want to make some adjustments and, and go ahead and uh, revert back to having a shitload of burbles or quiet the burbles down because you can make the aggression less, um, you can go back, configure it real quick, bam, 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 make some changes, save at the bottom, go back and then hit flash, and it will take you like. It took me like uh, 15 seconds the second time. No joke, 15 seconds. So uh, very smooth, very uh, user-friendly interface with the uh, user configurations. Um, and yeah, uh, be on the lookout for my year review of my M3. Uh, and then also having the form, I've had the uh, boot mod for now four months, so I'm gonna be dropping a video on that, talking about um, what I like about this tune and, and what I'd like to see going further um, from them. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see if we can get a cold start. All right, let's back out of that. Oh, and you can data log stuff too to make sure that your boost and all that AFRs are all correct. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty loud cold start.